today I'm going to talk about the AMR FICO, which is one of our new features in the 2023 version. AMR stands for Adaptive Mesh Refinement, and yeah, let's let me just go through my slides here. So this is the outline for this uh, session. I will start with the uh, overview about the new features in the in the new FICO. And uh, yeah, I will start with an overview of the new features in 2023. Then I will, as mentioned, focus on the M -A -A, sorry, AMR FICO feature for the mesh refinement. Uh, talk a bit about the background and uh, show you some options. And the most important thing, I will go through two small demos where you see the tool in action and also we can compare results and yeah, we'll finish as expected with the conclusions. So here are the highlights um, of the FICO 2023 version. Um, this one is the character basis, characteristic basis functions method uh, in FICO. Um, this was topic of the last or the first um, magnetic fireside session, I guess three weeks ago or something. Uh, the recording is still on YouTube, so check it out if you're interested. Um, AMR FICO, that's what I'm gonna talk about. Um, domain connectivity, something that can be now used in CAT FICO, not only edit FICO, yeah. So this is for the next session we will have in two, three weeks, something. Um, there have been new antennas uh, added to our component library, 10 new antennas, as well as four new platform models can be used, taken from the component library and used for demo purposes or just trainings or getting to know FICO or whatever. Um, some uh, limitations have been relaxed in FICO, for example, SAP regions, which is dielectrics for mom, in case you don't know, can now be used together with the RLGO. Um, lossy dielectrics can now be used together with the character, uh, with the character, characteristic mode analysis, uh, sorry, CMA. And also cable simulations. We have some loading restrictions uh, relaxed for the cable terminations. These are, these will be covered in the next session. So if you're interested, check it out. But now let's come uh, to the feature of today, the AMR FICO, Automatic Adaptive Mesh Refinement. So what is it? It is an automatic way to adaptively refine the mesh. <laughs> you guessed it, I guess. Um, it is based on FICO's error estimation. For those who don't know, that has been there for many years. It was a useful feature to, yeah find out if there may be potential for mesh refinement here and there in, in your model. But yeah, well now we have the AMR FICO and it's much more elegant. Um, the AMR FICO is fully automated. You can let it run and come back when it's finished and everything should be good. Um, it can be launched from, the, from CAD FICO or it can also be launched from the command line and it can also be used on HPC. So I think, yeah, I have some pictures here. So this is how it looks in the CAD FICO GUI. Here you can find it in the solve run tab, the AMR FICO. If you want to use the command line, it looks like this, very simple AMR FICO launches the tool, then you have your model name, and then you have additional options here. Like in this case, error threshold low. This is also what I would recommend. And I will show you also where you find that in CAD FICO. Um, here you see how it looks when you want to use it on an HPC. In this case, I'm using our Altair PBS. So I just choose AMR FICO as component and then let it run. Um, yeah, this is um, CAD FICO again. In CAD FICO, you have additional options for the AMR FICO, which you can find in the component launch options. Those of you who don't know that, that is a bit of a hidden dialogue. You will find it here if you're in the solve run, this, this tiny arrow here. There are some <coughs> settings yet that you can do. Um, yeah, here's for AMR FICO. For example, you can 
force uh, the tool to, to concentrate on a specific frequency. If maybe you have one specific frequency that you consider most important, then you can let it, uh, let the tool know it here, or you can limit the number of iterations. So it's an iterative process. We will see that when I doing the demo. And also more important really is the error threshold. You can choose between low, normal, and high. So high would be not recommended, um, I think. Low is what I would recommend right now. Um, in the current version of Thebo, which is uh, 2023.1, low is really my recommendation. Um, I know in the development there are discussions about setting low to the new normal, and I think that would be right. <laughs> okay, so for now, what I say is keep the error threshold low. That means the error is uh, mini minimized or, yeah, or smaller compared to normal or high, and then you're fine. And I think, yes, I think I can now um, move on to the demo part. I will demo two models for you. One is a blade antenna, a uh, blade antenna on a circular ground plane. I'm, I'm going to use method of moments here. And the second um, demo model will be a patch antenna. And here we use a hybrid fam mom approach. And yeah, it should work in both cases. Let's see. So let's, uh, so cat fico, blade antenna, circular ground plane, no mesh refinement. Let's run. The solver because we want to compare results. I'm simulating a frequency range from 600 megahertz up to uh, what is it? F max 1.4 gigahertz with 17 frequency steps, and uh, should be should be relatively quick. Yeah, it is running. Okay, let it run. While it's running, I will already save the model under a new name because I want to compare things. So let me save that as Blade MR Fico. And uh, here is the component launch options, which I mentioned. So you can open here and go to utilities and here you find additional options for the AMR FICO. So like I said, specify frequency. I'm not going to do that. Also, I'm not going to specify the maximum number of iterations. What I'm going to do is I choose the error threshold low because this should give me best accuracy. Okay, I say okay. And then all I have to do is start AMR FICO. So normally now I would get me something to drink or so but I know this is not going to take too long, one or two minutes or so, so we, we can probably wait for it. While it's running, we don't waste time. Um, I can already open up PostFICO. Here we go. So let me add the initial model here, blade initial. It should be finished by now. And add a Cartesian graph and get us S11 here. So this is what I get without a mesh refinement with just the standard mesh <clears throat> for this blade antenna. And now we are still waiting for AMR FICO to, it is still running. It's almost finished now, I guess. You see it's an iterative process right now. It's iteration number three. Of course, it depends on the model, how many iterations will be used or needed. Okay, one more. Maybe in the meantime, because I said I don't want to waste your time and my time, I can already open the initial model again in CatFICO and do some manual mesh refinement. That's the wrong model, blade initial, this one because um, without the AMR FICO, what I typically would do is add some manual mesh refinement on the blade. Just to have a very fine mesh now, I would choose three millimeters just to be on the safe side. So looking at this mesh, I, I guess you would agree that this is a rather fine mesh and I want to compare this 
also now with results from AMR FICO just to see if the results agree well. So now I have several things running in parallel, but that shouldn't be a problem. So the AMR FICO has finished its iterative process and has decided that it is uh, good enough. And now this, the normal simulation is taking place. As you see here, frequency by frequency are being solved. So maybe I can already then add the models here. Is this result here? Let's look at this. And then I want to compare the very fine model, which is the three millimeter mesh on the blade. And this looks like this. Yeah. Definitely different. And now the interesting thing is, does the AMR FICO result match my very fine result? And that is hopefully the case. Let's see, blade AMR FICO. This is the one that it created for me. It's called yeah, model name and then underscore refined open. <clears throat> and check the reflection coefficient. And yes, we have a, a very nice mesh. Um, looking at the mesh of the AMR, you see that there are, of course, mesh refinements, but not that extreme as I did here in my manually refined model with the three millimeters. So, so there seems to be an intelligent algorithm um, happening in the background, um, remeshing the model, not more than needed, so to speak. So this worked well. Okay, um, let's quickly continue with the second model. Not much different actually, but um, FEM is involved. So let's open the patch antenna. It's this one. What you see here is the airbox. I put an airbox all around. This help, helps to increase speed and accuracy for FEM. So maybe let's hide that away. So this is a very simple patch antenna here. And the initial one has a mesh like this, very, very standard, very porous mesh. Let's run the solver. And while it's running, let me save it under a new name again, patch AMR FICO. <clears throat> and again, let AMR FICO do its job. And then we will compare with a very fine model where I really uh, went into extremes. Uh, yeah, let's open post FICO again and wait for the results. Okay, Cartesian graph, and uh, yeah, I want to have the initial model first. Patch initial, this one. This is the reflection coefficient of this one. Then we have, or I have, sorry, I have a very fine model I prepared earlier. So um, the simulation took more than eight minutes with this one here in the finish one uh, pitch very fine and get the current source here okay the uh, s11 changed quite a bit and now let's also add the amr refined model i hope it's already finished pitch amr uh, let's go here ah it's still running but we can already then take the finish one because I'm running a bit late as I realize. Patch MR FICO refined this one and get us the S11. And yeah, quite, quite good agreement. I don't think so. It's an okay agreement, I would say. Um, so far with the demo. Now let me try to get PowerPoint running again. So yeah, I demoed these two antennas and let's get to the summary. Um, you have seen the results agree quite well. Now let's look at some numbers. So the initial mesh without any refinements were only for the blade antenna, only 3000 mesh elements, uh, runtime 16 seconds. Um, but we have seen that the results were not accurate, right? So with the very fine model where we had 3600 and something mesh elements, we have Good degree accuracy, but we have 40 seconds of runtime. OK, 
okay, it's a small model, it's not too long. And with AMR, we have almost identical results with only 27 seconds. So it's a small model, but you can already guess that may be uh, beneficial here and there to use this tool. Um, for the patch antenna, the FEM model, um, it looks even more impressive. Um, the initial mesh, 9,000 something uh, mesh elements, uh, triangles and tetraeders, the very fine model at 590,000 something uh, mesh elements, um, yeah, a lot of memory, a lot of runtime, and with AMR FICO, ident more or less identical results with a fraction of runtime and memory. Um, yeah. So here, that would be an example where you would really have to manually find the good mesh refinement where the MAR FICO does the job for you in, in I guess, two minutes time or something. Yes. Yeah. The conclusion is obvious. AMR FICO can be an efficient tool to refine the mesh in a fully automated way. And it's an alternative to iteratively using error estimation and refining manually. That's all from my side.